I just picked up this category one drawbar. The plan is to cut this old pressure tank in half. When I cut it in half, run the drawbar through it, and then fill the half with the drawbar with cement. And I think that'll make a good counterweight. I'm guessing about three 80 pound bags uh, should be, should do the job. I might add some more gravel or I might put some bricks in it, like put some cement, I mean, put some concrete bricks, concrete bricks. As I got a bunch of bricks and old uh, pieces of pavers. So I think that might do the trick. Yeah, so three 80 pound bags plus the bricks plus the weight of the drawbar. This thing is heavy. That is heavy. Let me show what the good thing is. Uh, inch, that's a one inch thick solid steel. That thing is heavy. Yeah, I think I think that <laughs> that'll do the trick. So that bricks, cement, concrete. I think that'll make a uh, a good counterweight for the uh, for the tractors. To get a straight line, I put a ratchet straight. Well, not perfectly straight, but to get some type of a uh, straight line, I put a ratchet strap around it and traced along the ratchet strap with a pencil. I'm gonna start it with my with the cutoff wheel. It needs to be changed. I'm gonna try to finish it with the. Uh, with a reciprocating saw. All right, this is my DIY uh, tractor counterweight. This is a old water pressure tank from a well pump system, okay, old Myers tank. I cut it a little more than half so that this is the larger piece. That piece, I'm gonna weld some legs on it and use it as a little, uh, a little, uh, I guess, burn pit. Uh, what I did, I bought a drawbar, a category one drawbar from Tractor Supply. I think I paid like 51 bucks for it. Uh, I cut some slots in the side of the tank and stuck the drawbar through. I centered it. I took two lag bolts, uh, the two outermost uh, holes in the drawbar farthest away from center. I just dropped the, the lag bolts in. Uh, because once the cement hardens uh, and you carry in this weight by the drawbar, the vibration, it might loosen it up. The lag bolts, once the cement hardens, will keep it from going from lateral movement, movement or horizontal movement. Uh, I put some pieces of pipe in there. What size pipe is that? That is... Two inch, that's two inch PVC pipe. I put four, that way I could put rakes, uh, I could put an ax, uh, whatever. Basically I could carry some tools in it so I get multiple uses out of it. Uh, I think I'm gonna weld some rectangular uh, pieces of steel, that way I could stick a chainsaw down in it on the outside of it. Uh, it's galvanized, so I don't have to worry about it uh, rusting. It is, you're looking at five 60 pound bags of high strength concrete and one 80 pound bag of high strength concrete. Uh, that is about 380 pounds. Uh, that's not counting the weight of the, the vessel or the drawbar. My Yanmar SA340. To use the full capacity of the of the loader, it needs uh, the books are like over 500 pounds of counterweight. Uh, so the way I looked at it, uh, counterweight is not ballast weight. I like loading the tires. Loading the tires is not counterweight. Loading the tires just keeps the rear tires on the ground. Uh, the counterweight is is behind the rear axle. So it, it pivots, it wants to seesaw. So this 380 pounds all the way back there is actually uh, multiplied. 
and it wants to lift weight off of the front wheel so it eases the weight off of the front uh the front axle the bearings all that stuff and really to safely use the full capacity of the loader you need counterweight uh to protect your front axle you need counterweight all right to get some of that weight off of the uh the front axle and here's the counterweight all dry this thing has been drying for a few days now since thursday yeah since thursday thursday yeah i think it was thursday yes no thursday wednesday I'm, i poured it on wednesday and uh today is sunday and uh this is what we got 380 pounds of concrete plus the weight of the category one drawbar and the weight of about three quarters of a water pressure tank. Cut the tank in half. And that's what we got. And because the pivot point, the bottom is heavier, it should stay upright. If not, I'm a well uh, square tubing on it. And I have a uh, piece of channel iron in a U that I could do on top for the top link to keep it stabilized. If the being bottom heavy doesn't keep it upright. So that's the plan. And of course the PVC uh, pipe that I put in, that was two or three inches, three inches, I wanna say three. Nope, two inches. Two inch PVC pipe. So I could put tools in, rakes, uh, small axes, stuff like that. I could just carry them around in there. But it's heavy. That bad boy is heavy. Can't wait to get it on right now. What I'm using is my hitch basket from the SUVs. It's a hitch basket in the uh, the receiver hitch attachment. I put the hitch basket on. The hitch basket is rated for 500 pounds. It's got those big pieces of stone in there. And I'm guessing that this is much heavier than that those stone the stone in the basket. And the stone in the basket is doing a is doing a decent job. The Yanmar SA324 and 424 didn't need about 500 and something pounds of counterweight. Uh of course, this being on the three-point sticking behind the uh, the rear axle, it'll act like a like a seesaw. It'll, it'll the load the tractor wants to seesaw on the rear axle. So uh, any weight behind the rear axle is actually multiplied a little bit. So I think this I'll call this four hundred pounds of uh, counterweight. Again, the weight of the drawbar, weight of the metal. And the 380 pounds of uh, concrete, I'll call it a good 400 pounds. All right, there's my counterweight on the tractor. And again, I dug another one out, a big one. Just a regular uh, factory bucket with cutting edge. Dug that. Look at the size of that thing. That's my homemade counterweight. Again, counterweight makes the world a difference. That's concrete. 